Well, London, London looks like it's gonna be the next the next side for Victor Osman to be playing his game at. That is it. Looks like London club, a London club is really negotiating a deal for Victor Osman in these final days of the summer transfer window. Welcome to the what it's called the Rokani Media Football. How are you guys and where you watching us from? I go by the names of Rokan David. Smash like button, comment and share. If you're only watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. And good morning to everyone watching this channel. 28th of... It's the 28th of August, right? And uh, we are left with just now two days to end the summer transfer window. But teams are really charging. And guess what? Teams are really willing to spend huge again on to Victor Osimhen. And I'm going to be really bringing you this story <clears throat> from its, um, what can I call it? From where it all started and where it has going to hit, obviously, me right now into the mix here onto the Rokani Media Football. And we are powered by Mono Gadgets. Mono Gadgets are dealers. Um, Mono Gadgets are dealers in phones, laptops, and um, Mono Gadgets. We are powered by Mono Gadgets, dealers in phones, laptops that are really brand new, and they also deal in what we call uh, used phones and used laptops from the used phones and used laptops from the United Kingdom. So you can call them on plus two five six seventy double nine double eight double six five. WhatsApp them on that number, and the rest will be history. They'll obviously get you the best that you deserve. If at all you feel like you want to see their products and have a little glimpse onto them, you can as well follow them on TikTok. Mono Gadgets is the place to be. So guys, <clears throat> thank you very much for obviously watching it through. And um, let's start it off with Victor Osman. Victor Osman is one of the strikers that the entire world is looking at. You know, every elite club is really looking at Victor Osman, especially those clubs that are really vulnerable when it comes to really missing out on the center forward. When a story like this surfaces, I know Arsenal fans will be asking themselves, are we the ones that are into the queue to sign Victor Osman? I won't say yes or I won't say no until the summer transfer window comes to an end, depending on what deal is going to be given. But what we are getting in is simple. Victor Osman is going to be leaving Napoli. To which club? That is still a doubt, and we're here to wait and see how everything really pans out. Now, for the side of us, we obviously understand that with Edin Ketia leaving, it's a here we go confirmed by Fabrizio Romano <coughs> going in through to play for the side of over Crystal Palace. You obviously have to understand that it is really going to happen huge and better, all big and better for the club of um, Arsenal. Maybe movement is going to be taken or not. We are yet to obviously get a confirmation into the mix. Now, for Victor Osman in particular, there was a bid that came in through from the side of Al Ahli. And they submitted initial bid to Napoli for Victor Osman for a package in excess of 65 million euros. Napoli are prepared to let him go, but no agreement between Nigerian strike and Al Ahli so far. Deal still <coughs> far off. On player's side, Osman will consider options plus not open to loan. That is how Osman said no to the deal coming in from El Ahali. And the next day, Fabrizio added and said more of Victor Osman's story. The agreement <coughs> between Napoli and Al Ahli for package in excess of 65 million euros is almost done, pending small details, but no agreement with Osman so far as Nigerian striker wants important salary plus key detail release clause to be included. So, Victor Osman looks like he has gone ahead to give green light to any team that is really going to be signing him. And I think, why is he giving priority to the side of Al Ahali? Because they had gone ahead to do a deal of signing. Um, they had gone ahead. To, they had gone ahead to do a deal of signing this guy, uh, Kylian Mbappe. 300 million euros, we pay it to the side of PSG, you leave and you play for only one season, and then you move out as a free agent. That is the deal that we're going to head over to a man known as uh, Kylian Mbappe. With Victor Osimhen and uh, the name, the vibes he brings to the side of um, the Saudi Pro League, Al Ahli finds it very integral to get him in, and I think Osman will be like, then you can have a release clause of like 50 million euros to obviously see to it that you can really let me go. You understand? So, 
a lot is happening for this deal and uh, <clears throat> there are sources that came in through linking him to PSG <clears throat> that is Victor Osman in particular and um, <clears throat> Fabrizio Romano has gone ahead obviously to highlight us to the London club that is in talks you know with Victor Osman and he he is what he has gone ahead to say and he has gone ahead to obviously um, refute all the links to PSG Fabrizio Romano has come out and said that Chelsea and Al Ahly are still the only clubs in talks for Victor Osimhen. PSG not working on it at all. Chelsea are talking to Osimhen's camp as main option on four players list. Victor doesn't plan to reduce his salary. Al Ahly are ready if Chelsea doesn't. If Chelsea, if this deal doesn't happen now, Chelsea is like, for us, we are not obviously going to be offering you the salary that you want you get i think it earns close to 200,000 euros a week and um chelsea might not be willing to obviously offer it but i believe him to chelsea can be done because chelsea are trying to move on raheem sterling and Manchester united has gone ahead to show huge intent to obviously sign him something that has gone ahead obviously shock me as a united player sorry as a united fan <clears throat> as to why Manchester United can hugely obviously show interest and intent into the player known as Victor Osman. And I'm like, what are we doing, guys? What are we doing, guys? Because I believe that uh, it shouldn't be happening that way. And that is it. I believe United should go in for better and better aggressive players. So, as it stands right now, if they really get off the guy known as Raheem Sterling, the wage bill and the wage button will obviously go south. And when it goes south, that means they can create space for the coming in of Vikita Osman, And they can obviously offer him like 200,000 200, pounds a week. And that means they'll have gone ahead, obviously, <coughs> reduce that by 90,000 pounds a week, which will be a very good saving into the mix. One will see that 90,000 pounds is something little, but 90,000 times 4, that is 360,000 pounds a week. Times 10 months, that is 3.6. And when you add on... Um, the 800 that is like 4.4 million pounds that chelsea would have gone here to spend to save in salaries on getting in a player known as victor so getting out sterling and getting in victor osman so i think if it's all about the salary i think they're obviously gonna get this done and dusted because chelsea have gone here to do something that have gone ahead obviously give them a go to get this deal done and dusted especially for victor osman now guess what they've gone ahead to do they've gone ahead to sanction the move or Romelu lukaku to join the side of napoli and fabrizio romano has sounded here we go that green light also on documents for Romelu lukaku move to napoli you know he is authorized to travel for medical tests and contract signing 30 million euros permanent deal plus ad hons deal until june 2027 never in doubt here we go confirm now the coming in through of lomel lukaku will obviously provide space <laughs> to the departure all will obviously lead to the departure of victor osman and chelsea have 30 million euros that napoli owes them so all what they have to do is simple they have to come out you know they have to come out and do the due diligence, right? Of really sitting with Napoli, we've gone ahead to value Romel Lukaku 30 million euros, right? Now, we want to offer you more money for Victor Osman. Is it a deal done or deal not? You know, and I think Chelsea still has the money. When you look at the transfers that Chelsea have gone ahead to do, they sure they still have the money. If they went in for Pedro Neto for 60 million pounds plus, they shows you that shows you that they're really huge in this and if they've gone ahead to get in 30 million euros for Romelu Lukaku, I think they cannot fail to get in like 50 all uh 50 all 60 to obviously convince the side of Napoli to obviously get them Victor Osman. And uh, Napoli are really working to the nail to obviously get in this guy, and they've also gone ahead obviously get in Scott McTominay. So I think that might act as a boost for him to obviously come to London and really do the needful to play for Chelsea and represent, and that means. Nicholas Jackson obviously have to play off the bench and uh, Victor Osman obviously have to track um, to follow the track of very many Nigerian players that have gone ahead to come in through all African players to play into the Chelsea side. Mikel B, <coughs> Didi Hadrogba, SCN, uh, Solomon Kalu, you can talk about um, 
I think Babangid, was it Babayaro, the left back? He once played for Chelsea, Nigerian left back. Then you can talk about Kauli Koulibaly. The other one has always going to hate to be the goalkeeper. You know, Mendy, who was really the goalkeeper for the side of for the side of Senegal. That is it. So that's what we've gonna hate to get him through from that. And guess what? Victor Osimen leaving and Lukaku coming in through meaning that the boss has gonna hate to be done. Remember, Antonio Conte has been pushing to obviously gate this player onto his team, and finally he has him into his levels. And let's obviously gate well and do everything done and dusted. Now Medicals have been booked for Romelu Lukaku as new Napoli player, confirmed us by Fabrizio Romano, and that is today on Wednesday. That's when all those are really going to be happening into the mix. So, as it stands, Romelu Lukaku is going to be a Napoli player, and I know he's really going to pass the medicals because Romelu Lukaku is not known to be an injury prone player. But when they tell you to bring in injury prone players, I don't think that you can obviously pay point at Romelu Lukaku. But it's good business that is going to have to be done by the side of Napoli, adding Scott McTominay, adding Romelu Lukaku into the mix, meaning that the manager now has the players that he believes can obviously play his style of football. And we wait to see whether he takes back Napoli to the glory days that saw them win the Scudetto after 30 years of trophy thrust into the Serie A. So guys, I call upon for your reactions into the comment section below about Manchester, sorry, about Osimen to London transfer talks confirmed and to London club transfer talks concerned. What do you make about uh, Romelu Kaku going to the side of Napoli? And do you think there is any club that can hijack this deal? All that and more into the comment section below. And remember, we are powered by Mono Gadgets, dealers in phones and laptops. That's a brand new. And if at all you want to use phones and use laptops from the United Kingdom, call them on plus two five six seventy double nine double eight double six five. That is their number. WhatsApp them, and they'll obviously show you the best that they really have. And then we can also do the need for and obviously getting what we call a Mono Gadgets on TikTok. Follow them on TikTok, and the rest is really gonna be history into the making so we thank god for the gift of like continue to subscribe we want to hit uh 30, 000 subscribers you know and we are at um we are at uh 23,000, right and after that we want obviously bring the best of the best into your eyes so we sign out for now see you later in the next two hours i'm gonna be coming in through obviously give you what we call a detailed story about victor osimen Sorry, about Mikel Merino, about Edin Ketia, and very many others. This has not going to have to be an Arsenal news show. It is all about a team called, um, it's all about a team called Napoli, Chelsea, Al Ahli, with Fabrizio Romano being the credible source into the mix. We sign out for now. See you later. Good morning. And we thank God for the gift of life. And for the Muslims, we thank Allah for the gift of life. Ciao, ciao, my mates.